that was a good demonstration in a turn okay so here we are um, we have the automatic I beams on right now and I wanted to demonstrate how it blocks the light wherever it sees a car approaching as you can see it blacks out the area where the car is so it doesn't blind it and immediately it uh, enables that section it works pretty well uh, and uh, Yulia what do you think about the headlights are they pretty strong and bright uh, yes but it's hard to tell because we know uh, Here, what I think with the street lights you can see how it uh, blocks that area So this way you don't blind the oncoming traffic. Perfect. That was perfect. And as you can see it, it um, it shows the sides. This is great in areas that have deer. Uh, so so you would be able to uh, see deers. Deers, just deer, deer right? Deer. Be able to see deer when uh, they approach or on the side. Now, I'm not sure when it decides to put the high beams, because for example, right now the high beam is not on. Um, what do you think? What do you think is the logic for the high beams to turn on? Oh, I think it's where the less street lights are. Less like, street lights? Yeah. Hmm. Like now we have more street lights. We should go to the dark area. Where do we go? Let's go there. And turn. Did you have it on FSD? Yeah, it was supposed to turn, but it didn't. So let's let's see. What's the logic for when to put the high beams or not? Well, now we have plenty of street lights, but uh, as we enter highway, we might not. But let's see. The thing is, you need uh, to demonstrate this. You need um, you need what do you call it? Uh, you need enough traffic that would come opposing you. And uh, it's pretty pretty bright here. Yeah, maybe it is the brightness. We will know in a, a few seconds. So it should change kind of now. Notice how it uh, brightens those signs, and you can see how it's cutting it as you're approaching.
started to demonstrate a problem with FSD. Right now it's on FSD. Notice it will basically only stop after it saw, saw the sign. So it slowed down only after it got to the sign. And at this point you would already get a ticket. So yeah, I think the uh, logic here is that, uh, look, you saw a person there and it uh, waited a little longer. What are people doing walking? I didn't even see it. I did. You did? So right here, I think this is wrong. It should actually go a little, a little into the, um, I'm going to give it a little push. It should go into the intersection. So I did uh, press on the accelerator pedal just to give it a nudge. So let's see, if our theory is correct, right after these lights, it should put the high beam. Yes, and it did. It put the high beam. So it, it just needs um, um, that the sides are not lit by uh, street lights. It put the high beams now. Strange because we have yeah, lights it's on both, both sides. sides. Does that? kill our theory. I don't know. Now this intersection is uh, kind of tough uh, because of the angle. There's uh, blind spots from the A and the B pillar. It's really flash it just puts the whole thing on I believe uh, yeah that would make sense so now it's a high beam it was a high beam like in front of those cars where did the oh, yeah? them yeah just switched. Huh, interesting. So, yeah, well, now here we have these. Uh, oh, it did put the high beams here, but as you can see, it blocks that area where that car is. And it's literally the, the dark area is following that car. That's amazing. So, you get basically light on the side of the street without blinding the people in the front. So again, I'm, I'm not so sure what is the logic for the high beam. Because we have street lights here. No high beam now. No high beam now. No. There's a pothole here, right? Somewhere. I remember going on it. Yeah, here, right there. And right here. It's pretty bad. So, at, with high beam, this is without high beam. The throw of the light is pretty good. Now the high beam is back on. I think, yeah, here we go. So 
look how nice it blocked that section. Amazing. And this car is coming straight at us. And it's going to literally keep it in the dark. Very nice. That was a good demonstration in a turn, how it quickly turned off that section. Yulia, are you impressed? Yes. This uh, was the quick video. I just wanted to show you how the um, adaptive um, headlights work, how they block the uh, little sections where cars uh, that oppose you um, come so they don't get blinded. And uh, if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, please uh, click the uh, subscribe button and the bell so you get notifications. And if you like this video, please, please thumb up and um, have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video.